Hey everybody, and uh, welcome to my next part for the Voyager build. And uh, on this segment, I wanted to deal with uh, lighting the nacelles. Talk a little bit about uh, how you can go about doing that uh, if you want. So, um, what I have here is uh, a mock up of uh, the completed one. And um, I want to show you what the lighting is going to look like. So, uh, for the first little part, um, I just want to show you how the nav lights will work. So I've got a uh, power supply box and I'm going to adjust the voltage to about 2 volts um, because all these are, are uh, just normal uh, LEDs. There's no resistor hooked up in the line or anything like that and uh, we don't want to blow them out. So, kind of hard to see with the light on, but um, my LEDs are installed. You've got one on each side, and these are just for the nav lights. Now, um, if you kind of see what I've done on mine, uh, there's other builds out there where, um, you know, uh, it's, a, it's a much larger uh, LED. It's like a... I think a three a three millimeter. I think some people were using, um, and I, for me, I think it's just too big. Um, what ends up, you know, having is you've got this bulb that sticks out of here, and I, I don't want that. So what what I ended up doing is purchasing some um, one point eight millimeter LEDs, um, and then stick them in from the backside, and it's actually uh, flush with the top. So nothing sticks out. You can still see this nice little green light. And um, yeah, so there's that. And I'm gonna turn this off, unplug my leads. Maybe you might wanna see what I'm doing here, I don't know, but um, my wiring is just a uh, magnetic wire. Picked it up. I think I think I got this stuff off of eBay, and um, it's the same kind of wire that someone would use if they were making like an armature, which you you know I don't think anybody personally would ever want to make an armature, but it's what they use the the coil that uh, wraps around it. So I'm gonna bump this up to 12 volts, leave it right around there. And there we have a lit up nacelle. Now I'm going to turn the light off overhead and uh, show you what that looks like without it. And I think we have a pretty nice effect. I was able to um, get all the light blocking and all that stuff done. Uh, <laughs> The nav lights kind of come on because uh, the um, the light from this, but uh, they'll have their own uh, distinct color when I uh, get everything wrapped up. But anyways, we've got a nacelle lit up. I think it looks pretty cool. So what I want to do is show you guys how I made this, and uh, and go from there. So let's get started. All right, so. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit here about how we can light up a nacelle. So um, we've got all the parts here. Uh, for the most part, uh, they're painted up the way they're supposed to be, or at least the way I want to have them. Um, the inside is uh, light blocked, and then we've got a flat coat of white in there to reflect the light. I've got my holes drilled out on both of them for the nav lights. Uh, we've got our clear pieces right here. What I did with the clear pieces is uh, hit them with a coat of uh, matte finish. Um, I just, uh, I think I have Al, uh, an Alclad. I don't even know where it's at right now, but it's a uh, Alclad brand uh, flat finish. And I just sprayed that over it. And it's going to help to uh, diffuse the light. Uh, it's gonna make it look a lot more even flow. And then I did the same thing with these pieces for the uh, front of the nacelle. 
so they'll have a nice even glow. Um, and then I've got my LED strips and the uh, LED strips that I use just come off of one roll like this and uh, it's just a white color there's nothing special about it so what I do instead of having you know multiple rolls of each is uh, just go over them with some blue either like clear blue or clear red or pretty much whatever color you want uh, and uh, then you get blue um, now I just use a, a little paintbrush and dab them on each one. Uh, I've seen other guys just use an airbrush and spray paint the whole strip. And they've had a good success with that and it worked for them. So uh, power to them. Uh, I just do it this way. It's just easier. It takes less time for me. So uh, what we have to do first is get these clear pieces glued into place. And for me, it actually worked better um, gluing this to the bottom to sell and then having the top piece of it just sit over it so um we need to glue them on uh so i'm gonna do that i mean you guys know how to glue plastic so i'm not really gonna show you each step of this but uh, i'm gonna get the uh, plastic pieces glued on and then we'll take a look on what to do from there all right so we've got our plastic pieces glued in and I actually go about this in two different ways. Um, you know, ideally you are gluing plastic and plastic together. So you should use a kind of glue um, that's going to melt the two plastics together to form them and bond them to be one solid piece. Uh, you know, if you build a model with just uh, super glue, it's going to end up cracking and breaking and falling apart. However, um, certain glues, let's say uh, Mr. Cement here, uh, works very well. However, sometimes, uh, especially in this application, it takes a little too long. Um, you're almost better putting the glue on and walking away and coming back half an hour later to check on it. At least, you know, where I live and my temperatures and my, you know, my situation. So I actually use both. Uh, I tack it in place um, with the super glue and then I uh, take a tiny little stick or a toothpick and put a drop of this kicker on it and uh, it'll hold it there in place very firmly and then uh, I go on with the um, Mr. Hobby and uh, then I can be working on this. I don't have to worry about it falling off and the glue will be bonding that together and it'll uh, stay together for a very long time. Now um, I've also got the clear pieces up there put in so that looks a lot nicer. And then as you can see, I've also hot glued in these two uh, nav lights. And these are gonna be uh, the red nav lights, obviously. Now, um, a different way you can go about doing this, uh, I used hot glue because that's what I have. Um, I wanted to try uh, this other stuff called Tulip. It's a fabric uh, paint and you can squirt it on, you can get it in different colors. You use it for light leaks, it'll dry. It'll kind of act as a glue to stick those in there. Uh, I don't have it, so I'm just using this. Now, uh, if you wanted to go really crazy with this, you could even paint these, um, you know, paint over the hot glue, and then that'll light block the red LEDs. Now, um, in my testing with this, the, the, the blue from the, um, uh, middle area here doesn't come through that and it doesn't change it a different color uh, the green stay green and I'm pretty confident that my red's gonna stay red so uh, for right now we can set these aside and uh, we need to start talking about soldering so if you're gonna start soldering I recommend you have at least a, a fairly decent solder station um, helping hands are always a plus and um, your wire that you're gonna use. Now again, like I said, I'm using magnetic wire. I got it fairly cheap on eBay. Um, the advantage for me is this uh, model's gonna have a lot of wires, and these wires are ridiculously thin, so I don't really have to worry about the spacing of wires. I don't have to worry about there being enough room going down the uh, cables, so uh, what I'm gonna do now is 
start soldering some lines connected to these and then uh, take a look at how to install those. So just back in a bit. All right, and uh, you should end up with something that looks about like that. So, I'm gonna peel the tape off the back. I struggled for a while trying to decide if I wanted the LEDs to be on the top or the bottom. And I think, personally, I think they would end up looking a lot better on the top. But I started wrestling with the idea that one day the adhesive I use is going to come off. And my light strip is going to fall inside the nacelle and it's going to end up looking really bad. So. After much consideration and thought, I decided to put it on the bottom. Now, I probably just could have hot glued it or something into place and it would have been fine, but I don't know. It just started bugging me enough that I decided I couldn't really do it. So, I'm going to try that about like that. I've got my ends. over here somewhere. I'll plug her in the power. And this should light up. All right. Got our lights. Now, I can't really do too much of what I want to try right now because I've got these ends in place on the uh, these guys, but Kind of give you an idea. Now, actually, this one I can already see is too far back. What I did on the other one, I ended up actually super gluing this guy down. But if you get it just right, it'll do all the light blocking you need. And I tell you what, I'm going to make some snips here real quick. Flick the overhead lighting off. And again, we've got ourselves a lighted nacelle minus the. Uh... Alright, sorry about that, guys. I ran out of uh, memory space. But, um, anyways, our LED strips. Close up the hood here. And there you go. It's uh, definitely way brighter on the camera, but I think everyone says that now. It looks very nice. Um, I think it looks exactly the way it should. And actually I got it up a little high. My, um, system is going to be a 9 volt system so there I am running at 9 volts and uh, it looks really nice uh, where I'm sitting very pleased with that so that's the first stage so essentially all I have to do now I'm going to have two more wires come in they're going to attach here and then jump from here to these guys and that's going to power the uh, red nav lights on this nacelle. Now the reason um, I, I'm not having them all hooked in, I've actually tried that. Um, the resistors that are built in on these light strips uh, aren't really compatible. Um, these are set to run 12 volts and these guys are going to fry um, long before they ever hit to 12. 
um, actually hooked up to the uh, power supply I have right there, they uh, f will short out right after two volts. So they're going to kind of be a little funky until I get them hooked into this guy. Uh, once I get them on there, um, every every light uh, that's going to stay on constant in this model is going to be hooked into this board. So, uh, you know, warp nacelles, the nav lights don't blink. Um, so they'll be on here. And then I've got a separate board for, for anything that's going to flash. So uh, anyway, so I'm going to get to work on jumping these two together. And then let's take a look at the end result. All right, so I've got her all buttoned up. My lights are still working. Um, why don't we try just showing off the nav lights? And I've been giving it some thought, and the uh, the blue um, inside and the green nav lights wasn't causing too many issues. Um, the blue and the red, I think, might. So I am more than likely probably going to go back in and just cover up the uh, glue I put in there with a little bit of black paint. Alright. Looks pretty good. So anyways, that's how you light up in a cell. Um, I'm going to start getting to work getting the uh, back section of this attached together. What I'll actually probably have to do first is um, I'm going to get the paint in to light block the lights back here in the back. I'll just do it for the other ones too just to be safe. And um, uh, after that I will probably when I glue this together kind of tape over it and then putty it and uh, repaint it just to try to cover up some of those seams and cover up some of those light blocks but uh, other than that exciting work done today I think guys so um, uh, I appreciate you guys watching and uh, see you next time